visual imagery quiz uh, measures the vividness of your visual imagination. VVIQ is proven to be an accurate test of the vividness for which you can imagine people, objects, or settings in your mind. It is the go-to psychometric for researchers studying extreme imagination and is often used to identify aphantasia. This aphantasia quiz consists of four scenarios and asks you to rank how vividly you can picture them in your mind on a scale of one to five. Each scenario asks you to imagine the face of a loved one, the image of your favorite shop, or a beautiful landscape, and to rate the vividness of the details within each scene. Since VVIQ was developed in 1973 by British psychologist David Marks, it has been referenced in over 1,200 studies of mental imagery and been given considerable attention in the domains of psychology, philosophy, and more recently, cognitive neuroscience. Learn more about VVIQ here. And so then the instructions. I was just eating Skittles. I was joking to say my tongue was blue. I was just eating Skittles before this. And my mouth really hurts, like, from the, because you have to chew my so much. And, like, physically whispering like this is harder than just talking. And I was sitting here thinking, why is this so hard? Like, it's only been, like, two, two days since I filmed. Like, that's crazy. And then I remembered it was the Skittles. So, anyways, let's go on to the instructions. For each scenario, try to form a mental picture of the people, objects, or setting. Consider carefully your experience. Does some type of image come to mind? Rate how vivid the image is using the five-point scale de described below. If you do not have a visual image, rate vividness as one. Only use five for images that are as lively and vivid as really seeing. Please note that there are no right or wrong answers to the questions and that it's not necessarily desirable to experience imagery or, if you do, to have more vivid imagery. The rating scale is as follows. 1. No image at all. I only know I am thinking of the object. 2. Dim and vague image. 3. Moderately realistic and vivid. 4. Realistic and reasonably vivid. Perfectly realistic, as vivid as really seeing. For each item, try the sliding scale to align with the vividness of your visualization. Cool, cool, cool. And I am going to agree to the privacy terms and policies for you guys. Okay, sounds good. Let's begin. Begin. Okay, loading, loading, loading. Okay. Think of some relative or friend who you frequently see, but who is not with you at present and consider really carefully the picture that comes before your mind's eye. The exact contours of face, head, shoulders, and body. The exact contours of face, head, shoulders, and body. Are you seeing no image at all? Some image. Realistic. I'm gonna slide mine. Is it not working? Oh, dim and flank. Um, so you have dim and vague, moderately clear and lively, clear and lively, or perfectly clear and lively as real seeing. Okay. Next, characteristic poses of head, attitude, or body. So, no image at all. Some image, a little bit of image, a lot of image. The characteristic poses of the head, the attitudes of the body, etc., etc., of a loved one and of a friend. Okay. The precise carriage, length of step, etc., when walking. They have updated this quiz since I took it because... You guys are out here. You know how people walk. Um, the following question is the different colors worn in some familiar clothing. 
So yeah. That's-